When I moved to Dorigo, I didn't know anything about Waterfall Wave. I'd, I'd never been through the area and just found the most amazing green place that I'd ever seen. Didn't even know places like that existed in New South Wales. It's just amazing. Then just discovered some of the best motorcycling roads in Australia. And getting out and exploring, I'd just take it nice and gentle through the corners, thinking about where I am on the road and just enjoy that amazing place right outside my door. The bike I ride at the moment is a BMW F800 GS Adventure. The reason I got a bike like that is so I can look at a fire trail or a road and be confident I can go down that road and come back. If I travel at appropriate speed, it handles all of the roads with ease. I've found some surprising places that some people never get to see. Riding waterfall way, you can get lost in the environment really easily. The sunsets, the waterfalls, green rolling hills, the rainforest, and the views are just absolutely stunning. And Waterfall Way isn't called Waterfall Way for no reason. There's a lot of beautiful waterfalls there. Some go under the road, some go alongside the road, and if you take a couple of little side trips off, you'll find some of the most spectacular swimming holes at the bottom and top of waterfalls that you can find anywhere. So the enjoyment I, I get out of motorcycling now is just getting out on country roads and exploring. Being upright, tall position, I can look around cars or around obstacles and see things coming if I need to and plan ahead. Some of the hazards that you find along Waterfall Way would be very limited opportunities to overtake. If you come up behind a slow moving truck, the best thing to do is when it's safe to do so, pull over into one of the rest areas, It'll let the mountain clear up and enjoy that for a while. One of the unique hazards on Waterfall Way is three single lane areas of road where the traffic coming down needs to give way. Just be aware that you might have to stop because there's other vehicles in this section of road. So make sure you give vehicles plenty of room and give way if you need to. Someone once said to me, when you stop learning, you stop living. So I practice every day out on the road. I practice my spacing. I, I practice the, my looking through corners, braking smoothly and, and hazard avoidance. It just adds an extra enjoyment to the, to the ride. Being a paramedic, I, I learn that life is short and it makes me want to go out and appreciate every moment that I possibly can. There's always something over the next hill. There's always something down the next track and it's just just being enveloped in the environment that's it's just so unique. And what that does is just, it, it just gives you a new sense of, of life.